Hello, welcome to my frequently asked questions. Today I'm answering a commonly asked question about lower blepharoplasty. How will losing weight influence the results of my lower eyelid surgery and should I lose weight before the surgery? We'll talk about the relevance of anatomy of the eyelid in, in terms of the results from surgery and we'll also talk about measures that you can take to ensure that you get the best possible result after having lower eyelid surgery. My name is Dr. Julian De Silva and I'm a London-based facial cosmetic and plastic surgeon and eyelid surgery is the commonest procedure that I complete for my patients on a daily basis and the information that I'm discussing with you today is information that I share with my patients every day. So will losing weight influence the results of my lower eyelid surgery? Well, in terms of the swelling and fat that you often see in the lower eyelid, this fat is orbital fat, and orbital fat is less affected by things such as fluctuations in your weight and losing weight. And the reason is this orbital fat has a very important function in terms of protecting your eye when you're walking and running and all these kind of activities. And so it's not so directly affected by things like losing weight. It is influenced partly by genetics and partly by aging whereby some of that fat comes forward in the lower eyelid and that's ultimately what we change and reshape with lower blepharoplasty. And so losing weight will not have a direct relevance on that swelling. However, many patients also have other changes in the lower eyelid, such as a tear trough. And this tear trough can create a depression, a shadow, and sometimes a dark ring around the eye. And generally, if you lose weight, this can be influenced in a negative way in this tear trough area. And so it may actually make this area a little worse. Having said that, losing weight generally will improve your general health and may be a positive thing from that aspect. So what factors can influence your lower eyelid surgery and give you an improved result? Well, certainly stopping smoking, and smoking has a negative effect on healing and the recovery after surgery. And so stopping smoking can be very important for patients having lower blepharoplasty. And for some patients, it will actually influence the final result. And although it's possible to have lower eyelid surgery as a smoker, if you wanted to get the best possible result, this would be an important step to avoid smoking before and after surgery. In addition to that, one should also consider um, avoiding medications that thin your blood. And these can be prescription medications such as analgesia, like aspirin, or they can be non-prescription um, med medicines like herbal medicines. And examples include fish oils, co uh, cod liver oils, St. John's wards, and there are many others. And I give all my patients detailed instructions on what medicines and herbal medicines to avoid before and after surgery to ensure you have the best possible healing and, and the best result. In addition to that, what if you suffer with certain medical conditions such as high blood pressure or diabetes, it's very important that these are well controlled before having eyelid surgery. And having raised blood pressure will certainly give you more bruising and more swelling and controlling your blood pressure will mean that your, um, your healing will be faster and you will avoid certain risks from the surgery. And so it's very important to control this and have this measured before the surgery. And certainly in my clinic, we measure all patients' blood pressure before the surgery. So if there are any issues with that, we can look at that beforehand. Finally, it's very important to look at the surgical technique that is used with lower blepharoplasty. This will have a significant influence on the success and natural looking appearance of eyelid surgery. And broadly speaking, eyelid surgery can be done by the older conventional way which involved an incision or scar under the eyelid and a more contemporary and newer way where the surgery is done on the inside of the eyelid and this avoids any scar. And certainly my preference is to avoid a scar in the lower eyelid wherever possible as this can avoid issues such as changing the shape of the eyelid which can happen with, with the older technique. So I would spend time researching your surgeon and ensuring that the technique is most suitable for what you're looking to achieve. So we, in summary, we've talked about the effect of losing weight on the lower eyelid and broadly speaking, it won't have a direct influence on the swelling and fat that you see in the lower eyelid. 
We've also talked about factors of the uh, relevant to the anatomy and factors that you can t take into account and measures that you can take in order to ensure that you have the best possible result from eyelid surgery. I hope this information has been useful for you. Thank you for watching.